number 10 here. We want to solve for a variable inside the parentheses. If my variable is inside the parentheses, you've got two different options. You could either divide by what's on the outside of the parentheses first, or you can use your distributive property first. Really doesn't matter. It's a matter of preference of what you like to do. On the first one here, I'm going to go ahead and divide by the n. If I divide by n, I'm going to have 6 plus y equals c over n, right? Then if I want to solve it for y, I'm going to move my 6 to the other side. So to move my 6 to the other side, I'm just going to subtract the 6. And my answer would look like that. y equals c over n minus 6. I can't make my c look like it's big. Now, the other way I could have done it also is to get rid of my parentheses first, for those who like to do that. If I use my distributive property, 6n plus ny is going to equal c, right, using my distributive property. I want to solve it for y, so I would move this to the other side. So ny would equal c minus 6n. Then to solve that, I would divide by the n. And so y is going to equal c minus 6n all over n. I can just leave it this fraction, or if I separated it, the n's would cancel on that end one and it looked like the top answer. Either way is okay to put it in. So just kind of a matter of preference. You can either divide by what's on the outside of the parentheses first, or you can use your distributive property first. <coughs> So number 11, what would you like to do first to solve that one? Divide by, two. Divide by the 2, okay? She says I'm going to get rid of that first. So b minus 6 is going to equal r over 2. If I'm going to solve that for b, then all I have to do is add, six. add the 6 to move the 6 to the other side. b would equal r over 2 plus 6 then. So number 12, if I'm going to solve that for x, the first thing I might want to do is divide by, divide by m. These guys got really quiet. You came in and they don't have to talk anymore. <laughs> x minus 5 then equals y over m. So if I'm going to solve that for x, I'm going to add, five. add the 5. y over m plus 5, then for my answer. And the last three.